What's up, Facebook Live? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? I'm Solace Kingdom there, Kingdom Fourth. I'm prosperous. I'm successful. There's no limits in the kingdom of God. I'm prosperous. I'm successful. I'm wealthy. I'm healthy. God said, keep the word of the God, keep the word of God in your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. So you can be careful to do everything in it. Right? So you can be careful to do everything in it. So you will prosper in all that you do and you will succeed. So that's why I'm always speaking the word of God. Because I want to prosper and succeed. I want to obey God, right? But here, guys, I'm talking about clear, vivid experience, CV, uh, CVE, a CVE, clear, vivid experience. Hey, Christina. Hey, from Italy. See, a clear, vivid experience. In our house, we have a picture of Italy on our wall. That's a clear, vivid experience. We see ourselves coming to Italy. We had that on our wall for a long time. Hey, Christina, she's from Italy. But guys, I'm talking about a clear, vivid experience. You have to... Go. This is a training that was given to me from my dad. He has trained six and seven figure income earners all around the world off of biblical principles. He has trained them in business and he gave this training to me. He taught me this. And this is step uh, number four, clear, vivid experience. And what is clear, vivid experience is, is when you go out and look at your dream. When you go out and look at your dream home, when you when you actually walk in the dream house that you want to purchase, when you actually go and sit in the car that you really desire to have, this is a clear, vivid experience. And you go there and you take pictures. See, guys, I have my dream board here, but you see, I, I, I go and take pictures of what it is I want. You see me with the Rolex on right there? I now own that Rolex. You see me I, with that home? I now own that home. Clear, vivid experience. See, see, I'm speaking life. I'm speaking life over my dreams, guys. I want you to do the same thing. I want you to go to the dream house and take a picture in it. Take a record a video in it. Record yourself and say, I now own this house. Say, I now own this car. You got to see and believe yourself. Owning it before you actually have it, guys. Everything in my life, I saw myself having it before I've actually had it. If I ever go get a haircut, I see myself having a haircut before I go get a haircut. If I ever want a new phone, I see myself going to get a new phone before I go get the new phone. It's just, it, see, it's the same belief. It's the same belief. It's the same principle. It's just different items. If I see myself getting a Bentley, and I can have a Bentley. If I see myself getting a new TV, I can go have a TV. It's the same principles, guys. So I want you to go have a clear, vivid experience today. Go out into the dream home. Go to the dream car. Go to the land. If you want to own your own land, you want to be a real estate investor, go to the football game and imagine yourself playing in the NBA. Watch the sports channel if you want to be in the NFL and see yourself, picture yourself going to the NFL. Take out a picture, you know, print out of a picture of somebody that you look up to and put your face over them and imagine yourself doing what they're doing. Imagine yourself being a successful singer like them. You got to see it up here. If you can see it up here, it can happen out here. If you can see it up here, it can happen out here, guys. Imagine you're put up if, if you want to earn a thousand dollars a month, ten thousand dollars a month, whatever it is, put your income goal up there and be thankful for where you are now. Yes, but I want you to put a picture up, clear, vivid experience. I want you to imagine yourself, close your eyes and imagine, just see yourself succeeding. Go travel. Luke Lashley, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Vanessa? Hey, hey, hey. But guys, I want you to go have a clear, vivid experience today. This is step four of the How to Grow Your Belief training, guys. Step three was listenization. That was the last video I did. Step two was picture, picture, uh, rization. And that's when you picture yourself, you know, we become what we, if we could picture something, we can have it. We're not going to get what we want, but we get what we picture. So we can see it up here. We can have it. And then step one was verbalization. And that's what we're speaking out of our mouth. But this is step, this is step number four right here. Clear, vivid experience. And I have it right here. But this is step four, clear, vivid experience. And what a clear, vivid experience is, is going to the dream home. Like Luke, I was just showing him right here. I was showing him my dream board, you know, of me. Make a dream board and put yourself in the environment that you want to have. Put yourself in the things that you want to accomplish in life, you know? You know, you don't have to have it now, but you know what I'm saying? But it's something that you want. If it does happen, that'll be great. You know what I mean? So go see yourself in that car. Hallelujah. Go see yourself in that whatever it is that you want with that Rolex, with that whatever watch. It doesn't have to be a Rolex. This is my level of faith. This is what I'm believing for. But go have a clear, vivid experience today. And guys... Just picture yourself. Start picturing yourself succeeding. Start picturing yourself with the with the woman that you desire to have as your wife, with the husband that you desire as your husband. Start picturing your family. Start picturing your son prospering. Hey, Shaniqua, start picturing yourself succeeding. Start picturing your business growing, expanding, and thriving. Guys, I had a vision. I had a dream. And in my dream, I was at a group of table with successful people. And they asked me this. They said, how's your business going? And it took me a second. I was like, and then all of us said, I said, my business is growing, expanding, and thriving. And I 
said, yay! And then everybody started clapping with me, guys. When you start to believe in yourself, everybody else around you is going to applaud you. When you start saying your business is growing, expanding, thriving, everybody's going to start celebrating. Yes, that's good. What is it about? I want you to start speaking life into your business. You don't want your business to fail, so why are you saying my business is not going well? Why are you speaking that? Death and life is in your tongue. Choose life. Say my business is growing, expanding, and thriving. I am blessed. I am highly favored. I am joyful. I am loved. I am forgiven. I am living in God's grace. I am peaceful. I am blessed and highly favored. Guys, these words that you're speaking, you might not feel it physically, but spiritually you're growing. I'm letting you notice right now, your spiritual muscles are growing huge. Keep speaking life and watch your spiritual muscles show up on the outside. Watch everything that you're doing in the spirit show up in the natural. Watch it. Watch God. Watch angels move on your behalf and minister prosperity to you. Watch angels move on your behalf and minister healing to you. Guys, you got to start speaking like a champion. You got to start speaking like a winner because you are one. There's no lack in the kingdom of God. Poverty where? 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 Only see abundance. That's how you got to think. Doubt and unbelief where? Where? Only see faith. Just like Abraham only believed God that he would have a child. At an old age. This guy was old. Him and Sarah. Is anything too hard for God? Is it? What's up? Is anything too hard for God? Yeah, it's not. All things are possible to you if you can believe. This is what I'm learning, guys. This is all it is. It's my belief. If I want to go to the next level, I have to start believing in myself. First, I have to believe in God. And that he wants me to be saved. He wants me to prosper. And he wants me to be healthy. He wants me to have the total package. He doesn't want me to lack. He does not want me to lack anything in my health, in my emotions, in my relationships, in my business. He wants it to prosper, but I have to listen to him. I have to obey him. I have to do what he called me to do so he can position me to do all that, to be healed, to prosper. See, he's already done, but I got to start thanking him now. Start thanking God now. Say, thank you, God, for the healing. Thank you, God, for the blessing. By you doing that, it's showing that you believe that you've received. What you pray for. And God said, when you pray, if you believe that you receive what you pray for, you will have it. You will have it. It may look like it's tearing. It may look like it's delayed. But guess what? It will not tarry. It would not delay. It will come. No good thing will the Lord withhold from them that do what is right. I'm just letting you know what I know. What God is telling me right now to say. The Holy Spirit is whispering to me. But guys, I want you to go out there and have a clear, vivid experience. Picture yourself. You don't have to be in an apartment all your life. Maybe that's where you are right now. You're thankful, yes. But you can have your own home. People, millions of people around the world own their own home. They own multiple homes. I know a guy that owns 40, over 40 properties. Guys, you can do it. But are you picturing yourself doing it? Hey, Ian Moore, how you doing, sir? God bless you. This is one of my dad's great friends and one of my great friends. And mentors, I look up to you, Mr. Moore. Thank you so much for commenting on here. That just inspired me to keep going. Thank you, Jesus. See, when, when y'all comment, y'all make me want to keep going because that means I'm adding value to your life. Hey, Shaniqua, it will come. Yes. Heaven, that's a yes. It's coming. It's on the way. It will not be delayed. It's already done, actually. All you got to do is just say, thank you, Jesus. How you doing, AJ Johnson? What's up? What's up? All you got to do is say, thank you, Jesus. Just start thanking him in advance so he will advance you. Man, I, I heard David Eminetti, one of my mentors, he said this. My dad actually mentored him when he was 21 years old. I'm 21 now, but I look up to him because I saw him when he was when he was at his lowest. I saw him when he didn't have nothing. When I was younger, I used to hang around because my dad was mentoring him in a company. And it just inspired me that at a young age, you could be a multimillionaire and you could still serve God. You could still love God. You could still teach the word of God because God wants you to prosper. God wants you to succeed. But are you doing what it is that he called you to do? And are you picturing yourself? I was listening to uh, Bishop uh, Ivy Hilliard. And he was saying that you got to imagine yourself. It was a globetrotter. I forgot his name. But he pictured himself. He took a picture of a globetrotter because they said he couldn't make the team. So he took a picture of one of the globetrotters. And he put his face on the man's picture. 
And then guess what? He ended up being one of the top globe trotters. I forgot globe trotters. I think that's how you say. It. I forgot his name though. But he pictured himself achieving that, guys. So I want you to do that today. Have a clear, vivid experience. Go out and see the dream home. Go out and see whatever it is that you want to do and accomplish. Just see yourself doing it. I want you to print out a picture if you can, or maybe if you got your smartphone, you know that cut and paste app. You can cut and paste your picture out and put your picture over somebody else that's doing what it is that you want to do. And imagine yourself being a multimillionaire. Imagine yourself, guys, imagine yourself $100,000 coming to your bank account on autopilot. It's people making millions of dollars on the internet marketing, selling digital products. They're just selling knowledge. It's millions of people prospering on the world, guys. But the only thing, the only difference between them and you, we're all successful already. We have greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. The only difference is, is that they found how, how to position themselves in the niche, in the industry that they're in to prosper. That's the only difference. It's not that you're not successful. You are successful. It's not that your idea is not great. You just haven't marketed it right. You just haven't, enough people haven't seen it. That's the only thing. It's not that your business isn't great. You, you just haven't put it in a position. My mother has a book. She's done with a lot of, it's a lot of different Christian, uh, Christian women. It's a book. It's called Position to Prosper. And guys, it's just talking about different keys like imagining. She talks about the chapter of imagining. And, and guys, if you can imagine it, I'm telling you. I see my parents do this. When my mom, she wanted an S550 Mercedes. She put the picture up on the wall. Everybody thought she was crazy in the family. She put a picture up on the wall of her and my dad in the car. On the wall. Every day they would see it. And guess what? A couple months later, she didn't even know it. They ended up getting the same car that was on the wall. She looked at the wall in the house and she started crying and screaming. She was like, ah! She was screaming and crying. Because she didn't understand what she was doing. If you can see it, it will come. You become, you can attract what you see. You attract what you see. If you can see yourself being a multimillionaire, guys, that's why I attract all these successful people. Everybody on here watching is successful. We attracted each other. We're both attracting each other. We're successful. We have the same mindset. We think successful. We think greatness. We are overcomers. Me and you that's watching, me and you that's watching, we are winners. We are winners that have to just position ourselves to receive all that's ours. That's it. That's all you got to do. You're not a loser. You're not a failure. You will succeed, says the Lord. Every time I felt like a loser and a failure, this is what God would tell me. He would say, my child, you must succeed. You will not fail. You must succeed. That's what he would tell me. And I'll just get back up and keep going. And that's why I'm here to tell you what God has told me. You must succeed. <laughs> you will not fail. You must succeed. My child, you must succeed. I created you, says the Lord. He created all of us. You must succeed. You must. There's no other option. There's no other. You must. You must succeed. I'm telling you. And it's going to happen, guys. So I love y'all, and I'm about to do another training. I got uh, a few more steps. This is only step four. I got two more steps, and I didn't know I was going to talk this long, but guys, when you're hungry for knowledge, God feeds me. Remember this, whoever you're watching, whoever you look up to, your vision, past, whatever, when you, start, when you start wanting something from them, like you're listening to them, you're like, amen. When you start feeding them, God starts feeding them so they can feed you. Remember, closed mouths don't get fed. You're hungry for knowledge. That's why you're watching this. And God is feeding me right now just for you. This is not a mistake that you're watching. I'm telling you. God is giving me wisdom, knowledge, understanding, insight just for you. This is a personal message just for you. I want you to start picturing yourself succeeding, guys. I love y'all. Have an outstanding day. I'm about to do two more videos. Share, comment, like this video. And guys, I know y'all be on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube. I got a new YouTube. YouTube.com slash Solace King Music, S-I-L-A-S, -S. it's in the title, you can just click it, watch the videos, if you have a YouTube account, subscribe, it's easy, click subscribe, but guys, I love y'all man, and I'm about to do the next video, but guys, I've talked about this so far, I've talked about verbalization, you know, speaking life, speaking life, because remember, death and life is in the power of the tongue, and then I talked about in video two, step two, picturization. What are you picturing? What are you picturing? I showed y'all my dream board, me, things that I'm picturing that I want to accomplish in my life, that I will accomplish in Jesus' name. See, my faith, my faith is working for me. My faith 
is working for me. My faith is my works. Because while I'm doing my work, I got to believe that what I'm doing is going to happen. I got to believe it. Guys, and then step three is listenization. What are you listening to? What are the positive audio books you listen to? The sermons, the different people, the people around you. See, guys, and then I mentioned some positive audio books like Think and Grow Rich and different things like that. You know, the Bible, different great audio books, you know, you can listen to on YouTube for free. Right? It's free. Guys, and the thing about free information, a lot of times people don't value it, but they got some free information on YouTube. I mean, you could teach yourself things on YouTube easily. I taught myself how to make music on YouTube, how to write songs. I taught myself, you know, they, they, there's so much great things in it, but by the power of God, you know, like all glory to God. And in step four, I talked about clear, vivid experience on here. And guys, I'm about to talk about two more steps. Catch me on the next video if you're still up and you still want to watch me. God bless y'all. Thank all of y'all. I love y'all. And guys, give out positive information. And guess what? Stay focused on your dreams. If somebody's texting you, somebody's calling you while you're working, finish. And then text them. It's not that important. If it's real important, they'll call multiple times. They'll text you multiple times. Remember, people, they know your heart. Keep working. God bless.